Hi, welcome to another yarn review with don'tdroolonthewool.blogspot.com. I'm Cecilia, and today I'm going to be reviewing my very favorite yarn in the world. Now, I know not a lot of knitters who don't have a favorite yarn or who are like in love with a different yarn every week, but this yarn has been my favorite for a while, and I really love it. And so I'm really excited that I get a chance to share it with you guys. Here it is. <laughs> the basket isn't full of it. I wish it was, but there's hexapaths in there. So, anyways, here it is. Right here. It is called croc o die Like crocodile, but like a croc, like a croc pot of dye. Haha, <laughs> because it's kettle dyed. Um, yeah, it's by Knit One Crochet 2, which is a lovely yarn company. I love almost all of their yarn, but this is my favorite. Um, here's some, I've got a couple different colorways here to show you. So here's a nice purple, a sky blue. I really hope you can see the variations within each skein, because that's probably one of the main things that I'm attracted to with this yarn, is that within one skein within one color you have all these different variations in tone it is just beautiful and let's see here i have a couple of pairs of socks i have two pairs of socks that i've made with this yarn the first one i want to share with you is the pattern fruit loops fruit loop or fruit loops i'm not sure fruit loop and this one was um, a free pattern on Nitty. So you can see that though there is a variation in the colors, it's not enough to obscure the pattern. You can totally see the little circles going down. And then I have some tadpoles. These are like my favorite socks to knit. The like the pattern is so easy to remember, and it's just totally fun. Um, in case you're looking for a sock pattern that's really easy but still has some some stuff going on so that one you're not bored and two people don't think you're like a lazy stupid knitter yeah this looks way cooler than a regular sock and such stock stock but it's much still really easy anyways um i wanted to show you this the back the stockinette area so you can see that it doesn't pull at which i really like i hate yarns that pull and um yeah this one doesn't it does a really good job of maintaining this beautiful variation all the way through so, let's talk about the cost of this yarn. One skein is averaging, as far as I can tell, about $18 retail. I did find a couple websites that are asking $23 to $25, but I also found some where, where it's on sale at a cheaper cost. So, average though, $18 a skein, which I think is totally worth it for a very soft, beautiful sock yarn like this. because. Socks take a while to knit. They are really pretty, it's a lot of stitches, you know, and then you have to make two of them. And, and it just really makes sense to me to pick something that's really soft and will run through your fingers in a nice, soft way. Like for contrast, I'll get one of my hexapuffs out here. Inca Sport Lace, 100% wool. I have a pair of tadpoles just like these, but it's made with this purple yarn and I've worn those ones. I've I made them the beginning of the year, I think, and they wore out so terribly. They pilled miserably and, and they're not that soft. They're, it's 100% it's wool and it, it's just kind of itchy and I paid $7 for that skein of yarn and I totally would double the price and, and get something nice like this you know like it's worth it to me um here's some sock ease by lion brand which also is really rough on the fingers compared to this which, which has the silk content so yeah so this one is a super wash wool 60 percent super wash wool 20 percent nylon and 15 percent silk now It's really elastic on account of that nylon and it's really soft on account of that silk and it's even washable on account of the super wash um, wool. So I think it's a great 
blend. And of course the colors are fantastic. And I think the yardage is also great because unlike certain brands like um, Happy Feet and like Koigu, you um you don't have to buy two skeins to get a pair of socks. You just have one and that I like that. What else? I think the colors are just the best part of this yarn. Like I just imagine this as like a Holden shawlette or something. Little shawls, hats, anything I think would look great in this yarn. Um and also after each of those pairs of socks I had enough left over to make about ten each of these little hexapuffs which take about 15 to 20 yards each, I think, each, each plot. Um, let's see, I talked about cost and colors. I love the colors. This, this socks just remind me of a mermaid because of the like, looks like a mermaid tail kind of, and then the color is like the ocean. I really like them. I've been calling them my mermaid socks. These aren't for me. These are unfortunately, well, Fortunately for the receiver, Christmas presents, um, both of these pairs of socks. And um, because of that fact, I have not worn these, you know, extensively or much at all. And I've only blocked them. I haven't washed them really. So I can't talk about the wearability or washability of this yarn, which is a bummer. And I'm sorry. But... If that, I mean, I've looked up on Ravelry and on Knitter's Review about um, the washability and if it pills and stuff like that, and I haven't found anything um, negative yet. So I'm gonna guess that it's probably good in that area too. Um, and it's really soft and it's really lovely. And the company's great. I, I really like. Um, the Knit One Crochet 2 yarns. So far, I think everyone I've tried, I've really liked. Like the Camelino, I made a whole sweater out of that. and I frogged that first ball of yarn about five, six, seven times, and it still looked really great by the time it was knitted up at the end there. So, I think I covered everything about this yarn that I could think of right now that I wanted to cover. Um, and I just want to reiterate the fact that this is my really ultimate favorite yarn and I'm a really big fan of it and I really hope that this review has encouraged you to shell up you know maybe a little bit more to get something nice because it's totally worth it in my opinion and I really love it and I think you will too so that's it for my review you can follow me on my blog at don'tdrillonthewool.blogspot.com and you can be my friend on Ravelry my username is Grandma Status. And in, you can also check out the projects that I'm going to be making with these balls of yarn in the future. And when I do find out the information about wearing and pulling, it, it'll be on Ravelry that you will find it. So that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.